Why am I showing this when I usually tell you guys to stop watching testimonials and become one? I'm showing you this because we're going to have an awesome class today about SEO. And this brother sent this uh, testimonial and uh, he's showing what his business is doing based off of some of the SEO that I showed him how to do. What's going on, Mr. David? This is me, Dejan. I'm about to share my screen with you to let you know so I can show you where I was at in the google business as you guys can see he's in the private helicopter tour niche don't be trying to go and jack his swag you understand what i'm saying and if you do go into that niche make sure you don't go in atlanta because you ain't gonna be able to compete with what i got him doing unless you are already inside the course but anyway let me press play nice in the atlanta area here i go right here yeah i go right there all right, so if you Google private helicopter ride in Atlanta, you'll see him at number two. And if you type in different vari variations of the uh, keyword as well, he'll be number one and everything like that. So he was able to get those rankings extremely fast. That's the snack pack attack course right there. Um, and we also have that one. I am re-releasing. I'm re-releasing. Well, actually, it's a brand new one due to the addition of AI. But that won't be for a month or so. A brand new SEO course updated. A lot of you guys have the perfect SEO game plan, but it has nothing to do with the new implementations of AI that I've been showing you guys on this channel. So I got to revamp that one because that mug is all the way from forever. It's still going to have a lot of that because it still works. And, you know, nothing really changes for real, for real. If you're doing it the right way, but it's new additions to it. So it's some cool stuff we're going to be going through. So let me show you this company right here. This one is Houston Auto Sales. Let me close out their window so we can, so I won't have no confusion of where I'm supposed to be at. Can you guys see my screen? If you can see my screen, say, all right, so this is Houston Auto Sales. I asked you guys earlier in, in the uh, community tab to go ahead and volunteer some of your businesses. I don't think you guys saw that or whatever. But you can do that now in the chat so that we can start with y'all next after I'm done with them. Uh, <laughs> you say, Bishop. No, I'm not a bishop. Not a bishop at all. OK, so uh, the reason why I chose this company, because they're a victim. They're a victim of low rankings and low visibility. You know what I'm saying? They're pretty much like right here when they could be like right here somewhere. Well, now those are sponsored ads or whatever. All right. So why is it so important? to get to the top of Google. Well, if you get right in here, then 85 to 90% of the traffic and sales and phone call volume comes right here in the snack pack. That's why we call it the snack pack. It's delicious results. But then the rest of the percentages goes to this right here. But also, if you can figure out how to go after keywords that don't have a snack pack, like that's the solution, guys. It's a couple solutions for you. Um, a lot of you guys say, hey, yo, Dave, I can't get right here every time I try to verify Google my business or Google business profile. Uh, it gets suspended. Google takes it down and all of that. And I'm with you because they're doing that to us, too. So you have to partner with local businesses. It's a whole different strategy now than it was before. That's why I say we got to update everything. They ain't playing around no more. All right. Google don't really like us. That's why they have all of this right here. That's why this is not the seven pack anymore. It used to be nine. Then it was seven. Now it's three. They don't really like us, man. All right. So they, they, they know what we're doing. So they're trying to keep us out. So we partner with local businesses now. It's a whole new strategy. I'm going to show you. But anyway. OK. If you can't get right up in here or right up in here, like if you're all the way down here, then you're suffering. You're suffering, guys. OK, it's a lot of money that comes in on these keywords. And today I'm going to show you guys exactly how I will go about curing these businesses and your business. OK, yes, sir. This is awesome. <laughs> OK, exactly how to get traffic and sales to them rapidly. OK, so the first thing I would do, let me open up. a. I would say a notepad, but we'll just go to Gmail. I don't really feel like. Uh, it's a Mac computer, different from the HP. Uh, anyway, all right, so we open this up. Come on, come on, come on. R&B style. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Well, when I'm live, this mug runs slow as a mug, probably because I got too many softwares running in the back. Come on, man. I'm trying to open up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So in case you guys have been wondering, man, I, I've been going for a while, not because I wanted to neglect you guys or anything like that. I've been traveling, man. I was in Mexico, man. And, and I'm tired as a mug. I'm still not fully recovered. Okay. All right. So SEO steps to nomination for uh, limited visibility company. Okay. So I'm going to show you the first things I would do. Like if I if I don't have any money for SEO, this is if I don't have any money. Most of you guys don't have any money. Okay. Or <laughs> actually, y'all do have a lot of money. Y'all just be acting broke. But <laughs> I know the game, but we're just going to pretend you ain't got no money. Right. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do starting off, starting off for a business from scratch if I'm trying to get the best uh, uh, money. Okay. Uh, okay. So like I was saying, I was in Mexico, right? And I, I went there not for a vacation, guys. Uh, I left my dog there. I couldn't get my dog there for, a, and, and I had to left, leave it there for an entire year. So our dog was with, a, with our brother. He's actually a taxi driver. He was our driver when we first met him, but he became like a brother, man. And he kept our dog and our, both of our cats for an entire year while we were here. You know what I'm saying? Like most people wouldn't do no stuff like that, especially in, in the conditions that they live. Right. So he did all that for us. So we we went back to get our dogs. Right. So it, it wasn't no vacation, dude. And then to get your animals into Panama, just a warning, a heads up for any of you guys that's trying to move abroad, dude. Dude, man, Panama is super difficult to get your animals, dude. Like we had to go from Cancun to Mexico City. All together, it was like seven flights in a two week span. And we had to get all this paperwork and all of that. So a lot of people are, were upset with me and sending me messages talking about my communication skills and, and all. Y'all don't understand. I want no, no beach. I wasn't chilling. This one, one of them type of things from sun up to sundown. We was in offices. We was getting paperwork done. And guess what? I'm not fluent in Spanish. So it was extremely frustrating. You think I still had the energy to go live and do all of this extra stuff? No, guys, I ain't want to take it out on y'all or, or, or any of that. I needed to be my full self. So and then when we got back here almost a week ago, I was just free. I'm still not recovered, dude. So, listen again, seven flights back and forth. I feel like a freaking ping pong ball. All right. Yo, I ain't never did nothing like that. And it was super frustrating, but we got our dog here. The family is full again and <laughs> now back to business. OK, so now first step I would do, guys, and we're going to talk about this. <laughs> Somebody say I have two dollars in my wallet. I heard you. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> All right. He said I, you should have used AI and chat GPT to translate Spanish to English. Yeah, I was using that Google translation. You know what I'm saying? But but I, I was doing pretty good. Like, I know a little bit more Spanish than I thought I did. You know, I ain't really had to use Google translation that much. OK, but the first thing we're going to do. Step one is brand jacking. Brand jacking. Brand jacking. OK, so why are we going to brand jack? Well, a lot of you guys don't have super powerful websites, okay? Uh, you don't have a lot of backlinks going to your websites. You don't have a lot of money to purchase uh, backlinks or anything like that. So to compete for a keyword like this, you would need a lot of that authority and, and all that super difficult, high-budget SEO type stuff to compete right off the bat with a keyword like this, because guess what? These people right here, they have budgets. They're not cheap. They're not counting pennies and doing all of that stuff like that, okay? But guess what does not have a lot of search volume? Their names don't have a lot of search volume, okay? Their names don't have a lot of search volume. What do I mean by that? 
everybody understands all of the business owners, all of the car lot owners, dealerships, they understand that this keyword right here is valuable. They might even understand that these keywords right here are valuable, used cars for sale, because that's what they're trying to sell. But what they don't understand is that over time, they built up a reputation and some customers search them by name. Some customers, let me say that again, some customers search them by name. And then when an SEO, not a, a guy like me, because I don't think like that, but when an SEO, an average SEO works for them, charges them $5,000, the first thing they do is say, okay, I'm going to put uh, a little bit of that budget towards this. And for the next six months, we're going to be trying to rank for this keyword. Don't worry, Mr. Car Lot Owner. I'm pretty dang on sure we'll be able to pull it off. We're going to go after some of these long tail keywords. But let me tell you, the first five of these guys all have SEOs that are probably thinking the same dang on thing. OK, probably thinking the same dang on thing. But let me tell you what they're not thinking. They're not thinking of brand jacking. Would you rather go after five to 10 powerful SEOs trying to rank for used cars in Houston, or would you try to, or would you rather try to rank for them? They're the only ones trying to rank for their own name because they're distracted by this keyword right here. Mm, yes, Lord. So watch this. Let's see if we can find some of them. What is it called? G, G Motors. Let's see if we can find it. Now, remember, if Google does this, it auto populates it is letting you know that people are searching this by name. Google is trying to predict using this AI before being using is AI to predict what you might be thinking. Look at this. We only typed in a G. We didn't even type in an M. We typed in a G and G Motors popped up. Boom. That means it is, it is a, an abundance of people already searching for G Motors by freaking name. Now, when you, when you put the cursor behind it, it is not just the name. It is reviews. It is this address right here. It has some more keywords. Look at this. Photos, blah, blah, blah. G, G Motors near me. So we come down here. Look, cars.com, they got the idea. Cars for sale got the idea. Even car gurus got the idea. But it is not as saturated as the first page of Google for uh, used cars in Houston. And then when we type this in, let's see. This is something called the keyword golden ratio that I learned a long time ago from Doug Cunnington. Check his channel out when you want to. 78 results. That can be a whole bunch of local citations. That can be, what do you call those? Uh, directory listings and stuff. Not actual competitors trying to really go after it. Like, watch this. I'm going to come back here. This is used cars for sale in Houston. We're going to compare. Oh, snappage. Watch this. Oh, snap. He's on fire. 23,300 results in comparison to the little 78, the little 78 results when you typed him in by brand. And let me tell you, I'm pretty sure they have a decent amount of search value when you search him by, by name. OK, now, so we tried. Uh, used cars for sale in Houston versus G Motors. Let's try titanium auto sale. I don't know how new they are or how old they are. Titanium, titanium auto sales. You see it auto populates again. People are searching for it. You don't need any fancy keyword tools or none of that. You can use them. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? But, but you don't need them, especially at the beginning of your mission, especially for this. Now, <clears throat> let's see. They got their Facebook. They got one of the listings on Car Gurus. Uh, pretty much the same thing, just review sites. Better Business Bureau is no competition for this. None whatsoever. Then we're going to do the keyword golden ratio. Oh, snap. 360, uh, 356. And we already know this one was like, uh, what was it, 23,000? Oh, I love when I'm proving a point. So this is why 
first step is brand jacking. Brand jacking. As you guys can see, I haven't even done any of the uh, the good old, uh, what do you want to call it? <laughs> uh, long tail keywords and, and the traditional steps that most people do and everything like that. That's cool and everything, but yeah, we want we want to go where they're not first so we can build up a little bit of authority with our sites. A lot of these businesses that you're dealing with, they have sites. Their sites are old. And if you did a couple of these little bit of tweaks to them and everything like that, if you got a business too, if you did a couple of little tweaks, if you got a, any domain with a little bit of age on it, this could change your dang on life. So you start with brand jacking. So why do we do brand jacking and how will we do brand jacking? So it would be uh, them versus them. Look at this. G Motors, you versus them, I mean. All right. Let me give you an example. Uh, um, Walmart connected to. It's supposed to be Sam's Club, but I don't know how I kept getting it uh, switched up with Costco. OK, Sam's Club. All right. I want y'all to notice something, too. In a new SEO course, we're going to be talking about feature snippets. We're going to be talking about the FAQ section. People also asking everything about how Google is uh, not slowly, but they're trying to keep people from going to your websites. Don't forget, Google makes the most money off of ads. OK, so it's not in their best interest to even send anybody to a website. Same thing with like Facebook. Right. OK, so, you know, it's the same thing. So my point is this. If you can get in the feature snippet, if you can get your FAQ ranked, people don't even really need to go to your website. You can put your number right here. Uh, uh, if you have like a paper call off or, or if you're just trying to uh, capture leads, you can put your number or a link. Look inside the FAQ. A lot of people I noticed, they just put their freaking uh, paragraph or the answer inside the FAQ. You should put the freaking uh, uh, website link and phone number inside the FAQ too. So when people do the drop down, you can capture leads like that, man. Come on, man. Use all the real estate that they give you, baby. All right. So the first page of Google, you understand, use it as a gigantic digital billboard as, as well as your videos, your thumbnails. When you're doing lead generation, make sure your thumbnails have the number or the website in the thumbnail, not just your dang on face. Nobody cares about what you look like. That's why I just changed the look of my thumbnail today. <laughs> Nobody cares about that. OK, so back to this. Watch this. So this is brand jacking. <clears throat> Sam's Club. I don't know what year they were founded, but I can tell you Sam's Club is not as powerful. Sam, Sam's Club brand is not as well known, recognized or trusted as Walmart's is. OK, but now they can siphon that credibility, that authority, that trust from Walmart being attached. If they were a standalone department store, you wouldn't even know how great their deals were because you would still just be going to Walmart. Okay. So pay attention. Like it's, it's like when you see a, a, a nobody in a picture with <laughs> no offense, a nobody in a picture with a celebrity, you automatically think that, Oh, that guy must be a celebrity too. I just must never heard of them before. They had something good or special has to be about them. Otherwise, why would the rock be wasting his time being in a video or in, in a picture with them? This is why people do interviews. This is why people do collaborations, brand jacking. Okay. All right. Because if Sam's club was to try to build that trust on their own, they would never be able to catch up to Walmart because Walmart been the king forever. OK, so brand jacking can catapult you like so far ahead in the game rather than starting at the beginning, starting at zero or starting back at one like Brian McKnight game. You understand? So now now that you know why it's important to brand jack, how would you do that? OK, so we were talking about G Motors, right? So you would do. So when a person searches for G Motors. You would do maybe a press release or a Facebook page or whatever you want to rank. It does not matter. You like Facebook page. That's called Parasite SEO. You can rank anything. You can rank a Yelp. You can rank any damn thing. It does not have to be your website. And we're going to talk about that in the, uh, new, in the new course. OK, but anyway, so it would be. 
This will be the title of your press release. Why all G Motors, uh, 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 G Motors clients in Houston are switching to Oliver <laughs> car sales. Okay, so that headline would attract anybody that searches for G Motors uh, uh, by name. Okay, think about the think about the type of person that searches for G Motors by name. They don't need to be sales uh, sold to. They don't need to be convinced. They're a referral. If you're searching for them by name, either you you bought for them before and you don't remember the number. Or somebody bought from them and referred you to them. You asked them, yo, uh, where should I get a new car from? And they say, well, G Motors is where I got mine from. You say, where is that? They say, I don't know. And then they Google G Motors and boom, they run into this article that you created for your car lot or whatever, blah, 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 <laughs> titled why all G Motors clients in Houston are switching to Oliver's car sales. OK, or to DZ's car sales. You understand what I'm saying? So do y'all understand? That's how brand jacking works. So now you're associating your brand, Oliver's Car Sales, with G Motors, just like Walmart is being associated or Sam's Club is being associated with Walmart. So now people are thinking, oh, dang, Oliver's must be just as powerful, just as good as G Motors, especially if they're ranking for G Motors name itself. Oh, snappage. So that's how you snatch up some good, quick, clean, ready to buy customers from a brand that spent years building a brand versus taking months or years or maybe never to rank for used cars for sale in Houston. So now that you build up a little bit of power and domain authority for brand jacking, there is something else that you can do. There is something else that you can do, baby. Huh? What is it? <laughs> Step number two. Oh, man. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to have to do it to you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to have to do it to you. We're going to go after the bilingual takeover. Okay. So this is something I taught my students as well. Oliver say, I'm opening the lot tomorrow. <laughs> hey, it wouldn't be a bad idea with the stuff I'm showing y'all today. Make sure y'all put y'all businesses in here. I'm not staying on here too long today, but I want to help at least a couple of y'all get some traffic to your businesses. So, you know, we're going to go over your business uh, uh, specifically and then, uh, you know, uh, maybe send it to you or something, but this will be uploaded. You'll see the replay and all of that extra stuff too. Okay, so the bilingual takeover. So now let's come back over here, y'all. So th this is Houston. Houston is a pretty big city. Houston is a pretty diverse city. Okay, so the bad thing about being an American is that you are conceited and you are pigheaded and you only care about yourself and only think about you. <laughs> that sounds very mean, doesn't it? But it is the truth. And you want to know how I know? And I, I'm going to prove it to you because we start businesses and we only mainly think about the people that speak English, even though there are like crazy amounts of immigrants and new people that travel to this country every year and they don't... you. Know, it, <laughs> Oliver, you crazy, man. <laughs> okay, look, listen, even though it's, it's a crazy amount of immigrants and people that travel to this country and they need help too, when we open up a business, we don't think about them. The first thing we think of is, yo, Larry gonna be needing, the, he gonna need something like this. So let me make sure I'm ranking for this and that. Okay, well, now you're making things, you're making it hard for me. All right, pause. You, you're making it hard for yourself. But check this out. It will be free. It will be free for you to have bilingual people on standby to answer the phone when foreign people call. You know, you can just pay them on commission. Whenever a foreign person calls, you understand, you answer this number. They get their own special number. 
And if you close the deal, then you'll get a cut because you weren't going to get that if you ain't know anything about the bilingual takeover. So you might be saying, David, are y'all's real? What are you talking about? It ain't nobody searching Google in different languages. Well, let's be sure about that. Let's be sure. Okay, so we typed in used cars for sale in Houston. Bop. And it gave us autos, usados, and uh, venta in Houston. Okay, so then we put that over here. Remember what I said. If it auto-populates, it is searches for it. I don't care what your freaking tool says. Google tools are mainly for Google ads. They're only going to show you the search volume or a basic search volume if people are bidding on the keywords. That does not mean there's no searches for it. So as you can see, Google ain't going to lie, are they? Let's stroll down here. Come on, let's, let's stroll down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. About this. These are related searches that other people have done. Woo! Man, I love it. I love it. I love it, girl. <laughs> All right. So, look, that means people are searching for this, actively searching for these keywords right here. Google just snitched on itself. But if you put it in a Google keyword tool or something like that, it probably won't tell you nothing about this. But it's telling you right here. Related searches, baby. All right. So now, what is the difference? We remember when we searched right here, all in title, uh, it gave us this 23,000. Now let's search this one all in title. It might still be high because it's the basic number. Oh my God, it is only 85. So it's still in the same city, still high volume, but way less competition. Oh no, you don't. Look at that computer trying to die on me. No, you, you ain't going to die on me, are you? You ain't going to die on me. After all we've been through, let me plug this up right here. Oh, man, there we go. Right on time. Okay, so 85. 85. So now you might be like, yo, well, how do I know that even gets searches? You understand? Like, well, let's see what Google says. We're going to close that and we're going to come up in here. We're going to delete this right here. Like I said, I don't really trust them like that, but sometimes they'll show you a little something, something. All right, then they're going to show us that keyword, one keyword with error. What's the error in here? I don't see nothing. Look, contains non-standard cat. It ain't nothing. I don't have nothing in there. It's, it's nothing in there. Okay, remove keyword. Let's try to get a different keyword then. How about this? Okay. So we'll take this keyword right here. Let's see what Google says. Ah, uh, 140. Now, I know it's way more than that, but at least they're showing us something. At least they're showing us something. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> at least they're showing us something. Is it a fluke? Is it a fluke? This can't be the truth. All right, this can't be the truth. Is it a fluke? It couldn't be. All right, let's try another one then. Cars for sale in Houston cash. Let's see. Now, then I'm going to show you guys like the level of competition for this. It's almost laughable. I might have a chuckle waiting for you. Okay. Search volume. Now, it doesn't look like hundreds of thousands or something like that, but let me show you the amount of competition. Let me show you that none of these dudes have no idea that these keywords even exist. All right, so we got a Facebook ranking number two. We have countless directories, okay? So we got some of the big blogs on here, some of the di big directories, but what I want you to notice is it is only two in Spanish. So we're going to do all in title, which is going to show us all of the people actually trying to rank for this keyword. Mm. Woo! That went all the way down to three versus that 23,000. So that means within a few hours, maybe even with a video, because we do this all the time, all the time, all the time, okay? And even with a video... Hey, you don't believe me that we do this all the time? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, 
what is the name of this channel? Yeah, real estate SEO, real estate, <laughs> real estate SEO, real estate expert. This is one of like the first like channels from back in the day that I was just doing this video stuff on. Let me show you real estate SEO, real estate expert. Come on, man. This is my slow. Why is it going so slow? Why you got to do me like that, little huh? Hey, why you got to do me like that? I like that. Hey, hey. Come on, man. All right. So let's pop up and hurry for a minute. Pop up and hurry for a minute. While I'm in it. Stronger than pie pie spinach. A bars. Okay. So you go check some of these mugs. We are ranking. Look at this one in St. Louis. All right, so look, five years ago. <laughs> look at this one. Casa de Vente in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. We've been doing this, man. We've been doing this. Look, a thousand views on that one right there. And that, you don't know. This is real estate right here, though. You understand? But, <laughs> hey, we've been doing this. I told you, I'll show y'all proof, man. I don't be making this stuff up, man. I don't talk for my health. You understand? Okay. So now let's go back. I just wanted to show y'all, man. Them us get views. They get like sales people call. They, they, they generate leads and they are way more qualified leads. They're way better leads. Why? Because guess what? Nobody is servicing these people. Nobody is servicing them because everybody is going after the same dang on keywords. Okay, so it's, it's an abundance of these keywords that you can go after if you got a car dealership. Cars uh, for $2,000 in Houston. You understand what I'm saying? Look at this, man. Look, they're all English. They're all English. So all you have to do is create a page on your, your car site. Name it these keywords. Look, zero results. Man, I ain't playing with y'all. I'm not playing with y'all. You name the page this. Then you come to, watch this. Come on, man. I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing, but it is fun, though. It, it is fun. I got to admit that. It's 20 people on here, but I don't see 20 likes. Why y'all being stingy with them? Okay, why y'all being stingy? Watch this. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to come to chat GP. Now we're going to say... This is my keyword. If you understand, say I'm ugly. <laughs> ah, Chat GBT can't even, can't even be a little nice with it. You understand? <laughs> he like, dude, he said, I, I don't have feelings or self perception, so I won't say I'm ugly. <laughs> Listen, I'll be trying to get I'll be trying to mess with this mug to see if it's self-aware, man. <laughs> What's good? Blah 12 Okay, so all right, cool, cool. All right, we're gonna get it to say I'm ugly. Cool. I see that you do understand. <clears throat> Create an article uh about In Spanish, discuss the benefits of buying a car in Houston. Discuss the benefits of buying a car cash. All right, let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Is it writing it in Spanish for me? Oh, oh my God. Like, dude, I can't believe my eyes, man. You understand? People say, I believe it when I see it, but I can't, I can't believe my eyes right here. So you telling me that I can create this content, rank this content, don't even have to know Spanish and sell this content to a Spanish speaking car dealership, a bilingual car dealership, or I could contact a car dealership and just hand them free leads. Like, dude, you wouldn't know anything about 
about this brand new income stream if I didn't give you a call right now, baby, in my Grant Cardone voice. Yeah. Hey, y'all see? Do y'all see what ChatGPT is doing? <laughs> Tell me. I don't care how powerful these fools are right here. They weren't smart enough to go after this in Spanish. So you tell me that this right here, especially if I beat them with the on-page SEO and include the listings and everything, I can definitely outrank them with some simple interlinking on a brand new, we don't even have to buy a domain. We just do a, uh, just get a Weebly page, a Weebly page. You understand what I'm talking about? This is the type of stuff that is going to be in the new SEO, of course. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Let me hit you with a hashtag. Yes, Lord. Okay. I kind of get stuck on the, the bilingual takeover. I, I love the bilingual takeover. So basically, what you would do is you would just take this. You understand? And you would just paste it onto a, a, a freaking uh, page, you know, your website page or whatever. Remember, you got the title. That'll be the title of the page. You make sure that's in your H1, H2, all of that. And since it's in Spanish, I wouldn't say keyword stuff, but the same rules aren't going to apply as in English. It's not as competitive as it is in English. And it's not going to take long to rank. Listen, guys. OK, a lot of people have this misconception, you know, you go on all the SEO channels talking about SEO. You want to get traffic to your business and all that. They're going to tell you, oh, you know, you better be patient. It takes a long time to get results. Check this out. Most of those dudes. Most of those dudes saying that are only saying that because their money depends on. A contract, their money depends on three to six months retainer they don't know how to monetize a client beyond charging them monthly so they're not even going to put in their 100 because they're afraid if if they get those clients to rank fast the client ain't gonna pay them next month <laughs> i don't have to worry about that because i'm gonna weave into the business of the client itself i don't just want a retainer i want percentage i want equity i want ownership of some of the assets. I want that type of stuff if I'm going to be dominating an entire city for you. You understand what I'm talking about? I'm a partner, not a freaking... We ain't going to go there. Okay, so check this out. <clears throat> so now, we started with brand jacking. You understand what I'm saying? We started with brand jacking. Yes, yes, Lord. We started with brand jacking. And then we went to the bilingual takeover. So now we want to break it down again. <clears throat> if we can, this might not work. You know what I'm saying? In tiny, tiny towns or something like that. But it will work in decent sized towns. So give me this. Watch, watch this. Watch this. OK, now we're going to break it down in neighborhoods. Oh. Yeah, you ain't know how, you ain't know I was doing it like that. Yes, I'm doing it like that. So these these people gonna be happy as hell. I'm gonna send them this video too. Right? <laughs> these people gonna be happy as hell. Let me close this out though. All right. <clears throat> so now we're gonna break it down in neighborhoods. I guess we can close that out, and we'll say uh, riches neighborhoods. in houston yeah richest neighborhoods in houston oliver said correct patience equals residual income aka pimping baby yes lord yes lord okay so it says the woodlands midtown memorial houston heights river oaks mont rose so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down Break, break down. Instead of breaking me on down. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to say Houston Heights. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Okay, some of them, I don't like I said, I don't know the size of the, the towns or the city or the neighborhoods. Some of them might not have searches for those. Let me see. The best way to know is to put a cursor right there and then go like that. If you don't see anything for it, if it doesn't even auto suggest, let's take off the used part. Okay, this is another thing we're going to do. Open it up. Houston zip codes. Because <clears throat> then this is going to make it even less competition. So we got 77001. We're going to say 77. Sorry, we'll probably change this to car dealerships. Look at this. Car dealership 77090. Let's see. Is that still in the same area? Mm. Damn, there's a lot of zip codes in Houston. Yes, Lord, it is. Oh, snappage. Oh, I love it. I love it, man. Okay, so we got used cars, enterprise cars, but we're going to see how many of these dealerships have this as title, have this as title in their pages. Stroll down. They got the zip code right there, but they don't have exact match, meaning they're not trying to rank for this keyword, car dealership 77090. So we're going to do all in title. <laughs> so you're telling me even in English is ways that we can just snipe out all threats. Yes, Lord. I ain't even been to the army yet. You understand what I'm saying? But it's Navy. Navy play Navy. You playing gravy. All right. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, I just found a boatload of. Look, this is a. Abandoned pirate ship with treasure chests laying all over it, man. Jack Sparrow would be happy about this. You understand? Look at all these zip codes. All these zip codes. People are searching by neighborhood. People are searching by zip code. Oh, my God. And the big boys aren't even on here for real, for real. This is why you got the little boys on here. Strawberry Road Auto. I ain't never even heard of that one. Let's click on it and see what they're doing. Let's see what they bout. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. I'm not impressed. <laughs> we can beat them out with some good content. Okay. Now, let's see who's really trying to rank for this. Okay. Oh, my God. This is just my. It's just one, man. This is hot potatoes right here. So the step three is go after neighborhoods and zip codes. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. So this, remember, guys, this <laughs> we ain't even, like really started yet, man. Look, look, we got car lots right there. We got some more. Oh, excuse me, some related searches and stuff like that for dealership. We need like we need really got deep into it. OK, pause. OK, so now we got the zip codes. We got that. Now, let's check if we can find some suffixes and some prefixes. So we got the zip codes. We got the richest neighborhoods and you can just go through the rich neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? Car dealership and and, you know, Houston Heights. Hey, see, we found it. <laughs> All you had to do was switch that from used cars for sales to car dealership. So now, hmm, look at these guys. Dogged Ford. Weird name. Yeah, two Yelps on the first page. Don't look too competitive. Uh, <laughs> I might open up a dealership, man. I might open up a dealership. Blob. 12, 31,000 said, this is genius. Hey, appreciate it. All praises to the most high, man. That's where the gifts come from above. I'm just a vessel. 
All right, he put his hand in my brains, pause. When I write rhymes, I go blind and let the Lord do his thing. That's Tupac bars for you, okay? So then you can just go through all the little neighborhoods, all right? So we go into all the zip codes. I showed you. We go through the woodlands. We already know the woodlands is a, is a, is a money place right there. The plastic surgeons love that. All right. You hit them up and tell them, look, man, I'm ranking in the woodlands. I'm getting calls from people that want booty shots in the woodlands. <laughs> this one ain't been up updated since 2020. You, you see this? So let's see. <clears throat> this one might be a little bit more competitive due to the woodlands. That's a popular area, but it's still not. Seven. Remember what I showed you. For used cars for sale in Houston, it was 23,000 competing pages. Now, no guarantees. Oh, baby. I can't guarantee a specific date and time that you'll be ranking, but I can say that you'll be ranking for these things ages before you would rank if you just go after the basic word use cars for sale like these seos are going to try to tell you to do so you want to break them down in neighborhoods you want to break them down in in freaking zip codes like i showed you you understand so it's a simple google search simple google search i search the richest neighborhood that means these people don't have enough money to pay you understand what i'm talking about then i switched up the words again some people call it a car lot some people call it a dealership some people, you, you understand? Some people call it car dealers. Okay, so okay, so now we're gonna do prefixes and suffixes. Okay, car dealership open. Look on Sunday in Houston. <laughs> you see how it suggested it for me. Hmm. Yeah, dealership open on Sunday in Houston. Look at this. It's a one pack. <laughs> ain't that a, ain't that a, like a, a deformed abdominal? Is a it got a one pack? You understand? It ain't even a three pack. It's a one pack. That means you know what that means? Like we used to make a boatload of money like this, a crap load of money. We used to literally on purpose. Find searches that have one packs, but have a crap load of volume. What I'm talking about is stuff like private jet charter. What I'm talking about is stuff like rock climbing, indoor rock climbing. Got thousands and thousands of searches. Uh, what I'm talking about is stuff like uh, um, um, freaking escape room. What I'm talking about is stuff like, uh, what is it, skydiving. That one got like 20,000, 30,000 searches per month in Los Angeles. And it only had like a two or three pack at the time when we was doing it. And bodyguards. <laughs> Woo! Talk about some money. Take my life. Bodyguards was killing it in Vegas and Los Angeles. And it was easy, baby. We ranked immediately, baby, because it was only one snack pack. It was only one business in the snack pack. So Google was desperate for somebody to create a listing. That's what you want to do. Make it easy for yourself, man. Find stuff that, you know, find openings in Google. Quit trying to go after the stuff where everybody else is trying to go after. You understand what I'm talking about? So look, that's an opportunity right there. You can rank for this immediately. If you partner, you'll be like, well, but David, our listeners still won't stay up. That's, I know that's because you're not a real business. Google is getting real good at figuring that out. So what you do if you're a marketer, you contact a real business owner that is somewhere near in this area. Tell them you're going to send them real free leads uh, or, you know, you give them a couple free out of, out of the month or something like that, whatever. But you want to partner with them, but you need them to verify the listing and you're going to rank it and do that, all that extra stuff because you're going to get in David's course in a month. <laughs> all right. So, boom, you create the listing. They verify it using their address and their credentials. They're a real verified business owner and all of that stuff. So it will stick. And if they did try to suspend it, you'll be able to call and be like, look, this is the real business owner right here. He'll give his credentials and they'll have to reinstate it. Boom. A kick in their butt. So check this out. Is a yellow pages right here. <laughs> ranking number two this is it oh my god didn't we see them up here 
Where were they? I thought we just sent them up here. Yeah, that's the same people. They, he ranking on her twice. Hmm, that's letting me know this is weak. This is a weak, weak keyword, man. Let's see. Oh, golly. I mean, it's just, this is offensive. <laughs> you know, because I'm a little sarcastic, right? <laughs> but this is offensive. How all of these, this is Houston. You're telling me all of them SEOs charging all of these dealerships, all of this hard-earned money, and ain't none of them thought to do the prefixes and the suffixes. So let's put this on your list, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, email me if you want this list. Email me if you want this list. So we're going to go out there. Prefixes. Suffixes. All right. Now. <laughs> so what's next, man? Hey, put a hashtag. Yes, Lord, in the chat. If you are feeling this. I don't care if you got the Ambisol numbing cream. Tell me you feeling this. Huh? Are you feeling that? Jay-Z voice. All right. <laughs> this is simple. And this can be done for any business. Any business. This will work. Okay. So check this out. So we got car dealership open on Sunday. Uh, let's see if we can. Houston car dealerships. Uh, near, and that's where you'll put uh car dealer was a car dealership in Houston, in Houston, near uh, okay, we'll say that. Okay, so that's when you want to start playing around, so you can find some long tail, long tail, long tail that work with bad credit. You go through the alphabets A B. See if you can find some, uh, you know, extra keywords. C, D, E, no credit check, F. You understand? Okay, so you go through that. Y'all get the idea. I'm not going to force y'all to go through all of the, key, uh, the alphabet and everything. But next, what you want to do, hold on. We do the al alphabet at the beginning of it. Boom. Boom. Now it's giving you extra keywords. Black owned. C. Chevrolet cash car dealerships in Houston. Classic car dealerships in Houston. Okay. D. No driver's license. Come on, man. Come on, man. See, a lot of y'all y'all just approach it and be like, yo, used cars or car dealerships in Houston. I want to rank for that. Okay. In your dang on dreams, you better wake up. Okay. We got E, exotic car dealership. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. You understand what I'm talking about. So now we're done with the prefixes and suffixes. And I can go on forever, baby. Right. <laughs> but but we're going to move on because I don't want to keep y'all too too long. Right. All right. So you got veterans discount. DC said veterans discount. Yes, Lord. So it's stuff like that for it, too. So now. Now, what you want to do is go after product types. So what does that business sell? They sell cars. So we already went after brand. And technically, we didn't really go too far after brands. And what I mean by that, we went we went after like his name, but we didn't go after the high traffic names like Acura dealerships in Houston, Audi dealerships in Houston. Come on, man! Now you're getting real specific with them. Oh, BMW dealerships in Houston, Apple Pie. That's that uh, dust from dying, if y'all know anything about that, but I ain't going to say nothing about that. Okay, we got Buick. We got Chevrolet. Diamond in the back. D, Dodge, Ford, Ferrari. Come on, man. Show me some money you can get with this. Whew. GMC. Honda, Hyundai, Harley-Davidson, Infinity. 
and beyond. Okay, so now you got the brand, you got the brand, but now we want to break it down. Did the brick me on down? Ah, we want to break it down. So let's see. Most popular used cars for sale. Okay, so we got the Camry, we got the RAV4, we got the Rogue, we got the Chevy Equinox. So now we want to do it like that, y'all. <laughs> and they're not doing this, baby. They're not doing this. They're not doing this. So we're going to do, we're going to take the Chevy uh, Silverado. Okay, I want y'all to keep in mind, this whole time I'm doing this, I want y'all to keep in mind that it was 23,300 competing pages for the keyword used cars for sale in Houston. Uh, oh, man. We, oh, am I seeing, is my eyes deceiving me? They're going to try to deceive me? <laughs> okay, now let's see. All right, we know it's going to be a lot because they got on the directories, they have to like list the name and stuff like that. So that like when you're navigating the site and stuff, you can find the type of car that you want. What we're trying to look for is not directories, though. We know True Car and Cars.com will have listing names for this and everything. We're talking about like local car dealership type dudes. OK, so let's see how many of them. Mm, still pretty high, but not as high as 23,000. OK, so now we're going to go back and we're going to find another car. And you will just do this until you find a car that you like, you know, hey, it's going to make some good money, but it ain't going to ain't going to be too hard for me to rank for. Uh, for sale. In Houston. Let's see if we can make that a little bit more long tail. 2022 Ram 1500 for sale. Oh, snappage. Ram 1500 limited for sale. Okay, let's try this 22. Little mama 22. She see them 22. We in room 222. All right. <laughs> Wow. Now we didn't got that one all the way down to 164. You could rank for this with a freaking Facebook group. Oh my God. I know you guys have seen Facebook groups rank before. You could rank for this with like a Facebook group. Remember I said about pa Parasite SEO. The good thing about creating Facebook groups, you name this a, a Facebook. If you name a Facebook group after this and you tell your family and friends to go join that mug and just start posting miscellaneous stuff about their favorite cars or some, or just sharing some little stupid video. I mean, you know, I don't know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or you can use chat GPT and some AI to create content about this. Right. And you just put it on a little sequence for about a week. Right. Then Facebook will see that it's active and they'll start recommending it in the local area for people to start joining that group. Once it becomes active, you can do a GSA blast with some spam links and it will rank over cars.com and all of these guys right here for this. <laughs> I'm just giving it to you, baby. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So we got the types of cars Chevy Equinox. Let's see. Let's try that one. How competitive is this one? For sale. And okay, 2000 Chevy Equinox. Damn, 2007? <laughs> they trying to go back. They want to go back in a Maya voice. Okay. And I don't like that one. Mm -hmm. But it ain't about what I like. It's about what uh, Google telling me other people are searching for. Then I say a Facebook. If we can get some Facebooks on here. We can get some Facebooks on here. It ain't a problem. It ain't a problem to get some Facebooks. Zero search results. I mean, what more can I say? You understand? <laughs> like, dude, this stuff ranks, man. 
it ranks. I don't know what Google will tell you because it ain't really too many ads on here. Let me see. Do I see any ads? Ain't nobody bidding on these keywords. So Google might say it ain't no search volume for it. But I don't trust Google's, uh, like, <laughs> when they say stuff like that, I don't trust them because why would it be in a suggested? All right, let's see. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> it's telling us no, it's nothing there, but I can see it. Look, I can see it. It's there for the show show. Okay, so what do y'all think so far? Let me know in the chat what y'all thinking so far. I got to take a sip of water real quick, man. I am parched. You understand? Like, mm. Uh, whew. What do y'all think so far? Man, what's up, Cedric? I didn't even know you was on here, man. How you doing? How you been? How you been? Are you still ranking in St. Matter of fact, we can go see. Are you still ranking in St. Louis or did you drop in St. Louis? Credit. Help. What is it? St. Louis. Credit repair. Credit counseling. What's your keyword in St. Louis? Oh, there you go, right there. I think that's you, right? C24? Am I wrong? Let me know if I'm wrong, Cedric, man. Let me know. Ready to repair. <clears throat> Woo! Is this you, Cedric? Let me know, man. You still on here? <clears throat> Damn, it's a little hot in here, man. Somebody named the Credit Scientist. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm from the SCL MO314 too. Me and Cedric from the same city, man. Okay. <sighs> man, I'm getting a little worn. I told y'all, man, I, I still haven't fully recovered, man. I'm getting a little tired, man. <clears throat> Yeah, see, that is Cedric right there. He's still ranking, man. You've been ranking about a freaking, what, two, three years now or something. <laughs> What's it, two, three, four years now, man? Look, you got 40 reviews, a 5.0, uh, 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 a five-star rating. You understand what I'm saying? Now all he need to do is push this dude out, push, push them out the way and take all three spots. But right now, he, he, he's on there. He's killing it, man. That's where it's at, bro. Thanks for coming on the live stream, Pauls. That's where it's at. Look at them up. Look, you got the pin right there and everything, man. Like, look. <laughs> he got the pin. I ain't even asked him to do that one, man. Like, everybody else has looked dead and gray. Like, <laughs> we got the pin right there. All right. DZ say, I understand what you're saying. Ah, oh, praises, man. <clears throat> man, this is my first time back in a while on the live stream, y'all. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm, you know, I'm, I've had I've had fun on this one. So let's see. We got the brand jacking, bilingual, got the neighborhood zip codes, we got the prefixes, suffixes. Okay, so what is the next step? I probably should have had this bullet pointed sitting down uh right here for you guys. But I didn't. I, as y'all can see, I was like a whole dang on hour late. I took a, I lay down to take a nap and I set an alarm. I, that's why I never like to take a nap before I'm about to go live. You understand? I get up at like three, four. I can't help it. I get up at like three, four in the morning. So around like 12 noon, I'm, I'm like <laughs> struggling or whatever. But if I don't take a nap, Okay, there's my homeboy. Now he decided to call me while I'm live. I'll be telling him to hit me up all the time. 
He from St. Louis too. All right. So uh, but yeah, now um, okay, so we got the brand jacking bilingual takeover. We got the uh uh neighborhood zip codes, we got the suffixes. Uh I might have to do a part two on this one or something like that. I can it is it is escaping me. I should have wrote it down, but I didn't want to keep y'all like waiting. Uh, too much longer. These are the ones that I can remember off the top of my head right here. But check this out. Even if you were to do, <laughs> even if you were to do just number one, that would like rapidly increase your traffic flow. Okay. Just by itself in sales. Why? Because a person searching the company by brand already has their mind made up, don't need to be sold. They're looking to buy. And then if you interrupt that flow, now all you did was redirect that sale to yourself. Then when we got the bilingual takeover, it eliminated all competitors, all competitors from thousands and thousands and thousands of searches a month. You took away all the competitors just by switching the language. And don't forget in this great country of you guys, because I don't live there anymore. <laughs> OK, there are Spanish speakers. But don't forget, a gigantic community of French speakers, don't forget, in the 90s, the Bosnians came and claimed a huge chunk of the United States. Don't forget there are Italian speakers. Don't forget there are Chinese and, you know, a whole bunch of different type of Asians there. Don't forget that. So this, come on, man. Don't say I ain't never did nothing for you. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. But listen, just the bilingual takeover itself. You're like, man, I don't feel like hiring. No, 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 no. Commission only. Hit people up and be like, like look, I'm going to hire you. You bilingual, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm bilingual. Hey, you just answer the calls whenever somebody from, you know, a different language, whenever somebody that speaks Spanish or whatever that language is that you hire them for, right? They say, okay, cool. And you say, all right, when do you close a deal? Well, I'm going to give you a percentage. Boom. There you go. So you don't have to hire them on hourly or anything like that. But that's all money you wouldn't have got if you didn't go after this opportunity. So next, we got the zip codes and neighborhoods. All these people want to rank for the city or for the state, but they don't realize most people are lazy. They don't even want to go down the block. So when they search for something, the reason I'm able to dominate so well is because I know that people are lazy. So I know that they're thinking of a plumber, uh, emergency plumber near me, emergency plumber in the 63118 area. I know people are searching that because they why, why they want somebody from all the way across town, pizza delivery in the 63111 area. Like you don't want your piece of coal from all the way across town. So you're searching neighborhoods. You're searching freaking, uh, 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 you know, you know, that type of stuff. Right. OK, then we got the prefixes and the suffixes, stuff like open on Sundays, open on holidays. You understand what I'm saying? Houses for sale near this area with a pool or with land that accepts Section 8 vouchers and, and all of that extra stuff. When you put the extended clips on there, you can let off. No, I'm just pointing. When you put the, you know, like when you really go deep into the prefixes, suffixes and the long tails and stuff like you can unlock traffic that you never knew. OK, so <laughs> DZ say I call it a power nap. Yeah, man. He said just have to outpost everyone, man. Hey, listen, get it out there. This is the chance where the AI will do it for you. And if you guys are wondering if you guys are wondering if, like, it's a lot of people talking about AI content. Now, it's not about Google disliking AI content. It's about Google disliking trash. <laughs> what am I talking about? If I just go with this article right here, I wouldn't just do it like this, guys. I'm going to have an outline. Um, you know, like I said, the benefits, uh, um, you know, the neighborhoods talk about the surrounding areas. Uh, tell me 
you know what I'm saying? The mileage, uh, you know, all, all of that. Get, you still, even though this is going to write it for you, you want to be just like as if you were writing it yourself. You want the chat GPT or these AI writers to be as human as possible, as helpful as possible. So if you come with some trash, even if it is human written, like Google is going to get rid of it. So another proof that Google doesn't mind AI content, guys, is because they're creating freaking AI. Google has been AI. Watch this. Uh, it wouldn't work right now. <laughs> it wouldn't work while I'm live. But y'all know what I'm talking about when it starts auto-suggesting inside here. Or this feature right here, the schedule to send. Or, or this feature right here. This is all AI. You understand? It's predicting. Google been on AI. It would be super hypo hypocritical for them to not like AI content when they're trying to compete with Bing. Didn't Google just drop Bard? Isn't Bard this? Come on, y'all. We got to use common sense. Don't let these people fake y'all out and then start getting all the money and leaving you in the dust. Oh, I don't think AI content is going to rank. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. If you say so, I don't think, um, um, you know, Google, I think Google is going to penalize AI content. How are they going to penalize AI content when Bard writes AI content for you? We got to use our brains, man. We got to use our brains. Yes, DZ said Bard is Google's AI. Exactly. Watch this. What can Bard do? I don't know why. Whenever I'm doing a lot of searches, it thinks I'm a dang on bot. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a robot. Come on. All right. Google's Bard was released in March. To a limited number of users designed to draft emails, poems. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Everybody wake up. Look, it can generate ideas. It can write blog posts and answer questions with facts and opinions. Mm. Woo -wee. Why don't you just go ahead and take a gander at it? It says Bard, a poet, especially one who writes in passion, lyrical and epic verse. Bards were originally Celtic composed. I don't care. I don't know about all that extra stuff. What are. OK, now it's going into something different. So now I see why they named it Bard. They're giving us history on the word. But it's a chat bot. And it was created to write blog posts. Uh, boom. Debunked debunked i don't want to hear no more i don't want to hear no more google does not dislike ai content google dislikes trash content so if you're using chat gpt or any other writer like jasper to compose crap content you're not doing it how i show you to do it let me see if i can find something uh all right. So my students in, in, in the asset uh, empire and I came up with some of these prompts. Right. And I'll show you guys just so that you can make things a lot more natural. And then I added to it and created a whole bunch of extra stuff. You know, I make it to where. OK, watch this, guys. If you guys go to some of the top search results for some of the best keywords, most competitive keywords, you're going to notice some things. You'll notice they're extremely helpful. OK, and how can you be helpful without talking verbally to a person? You have to be very descriptive in your words that they read and you have to be very descriptive. A picture is worth a thousand words and then a, vi a video is worth millions. So why am I telling you that? You want videos and you want images. So I have ChatGPT not just write the articles. Like a lot of people would just take this right here, this article that I just created right here, and they'll just slap it on the site and leave it there and then go rank it. Something like that might get taken down. And then who can blame you? Them people ain't getting no help? No. I make sure that ChatGPT 
creates a freaking FAQ section or multiple FAQ sections. Let me let me give you an example. I'll just show you some. Uh, this one is my my wife's uh, website right here. Cedric said, how to get on the SEO course list? I will announce the exact date uh, in the next um, class. It might be tomorrow class. I will announce it, but it's going to be about a month from now, guys. But I'm going to tell you this. It will be the most powerful course that you've ever seen in your life because we're going to be going over money maps. OK, money maps. OK, and I, you, I'll break that down a little bit more tomorrow. OK, so watch this. This is all written by ChatGPT. So remember, I said you wanted to be as helpful as possible. And then I'm going to show you guys the prompts. OK. All right. So this doesn't look like AI content, does it? This is my wife making a goofy face. She helps people find unclaimed money and unclaimed assets and stuff. OK, this is all content. Imagery, imagery, then it has an infographic, an infographic, then. Now, I want y'all to notice something, because we are going to get the feature snippet for this, and we're definitely going to get the uh, people also ask. Look, people, I designed the page. Look, I, your goal when you do on-page SEO is to make Google a hypocrite. What do I mean by that? They can't can accuse your on-page SEO of being bad if you design your own page the same way Google's first page is. Google always has a first, uh, a, a people also ask, or people also search, or related searches and, and good interlinking and all of that. Look at all of these. It's just getting started. Look at all of these. Boom. Boom, I hooked her up, didn't I? Then I hooked her up? I hooked her. I know I did. Yes, I did, baby. Okay. <laughs> I know y'all I'm goofy, right? Yeah, okay. So that's what I'm talking about. You need to, like, it has to be multimedia. Then we'll go to this one that I'm on right now. I'm going to murder them, murder them. We just got a few pages on here so far, but this is all GPT content. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. GPT did all of this, including the freaking drop downs for the FAQ sections. Look at this. Look at this. GPT did all of this. All of this. And these are all paper call offers. <laughs> I'm going to get multiple conversions, baby. Yes, Lord. Every time. Look, a person going to come here. Didn't I say you want to design it just like Google? Watch this. Watch. Pay attention. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Alternatives to Spectrum Internet. Because I'm going to rank for that, man. I'm going to rank for that one. Look at this press release ranking number one. I know I can beat it, baby. I know I can beat it. Uh, let's go local so I can show you what I mean. We got Los Angeles right here. Uh, still not giving me what I want. Okay, let's do this one. Dude, it's, <laughs> it's not giving me what I want. Okay. This is what I'm trying to do. I don't know if it's because I've been doing so many searches, but Google is not doing what I, I'm trying to find. Y'all know what I'm trying to find, a damn snack pack. Ooh, it's getting scary out here. Maybe they taking them snack packs down, boy. Look at this. Okay, best internet service provider. Jeez, wow. Okay. Fine. I won't do it then like that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Even though we can't find a snack pack, you will notice this. The best ones are listicles. Best internet providers in Los Angeles. Top five. Top nine. Okay. Listing. Listing. So Google. Okay. They're going to snack pack right there. Google lets you know what they want for a specific search terms, okay? So if they want listicles, they'll show you that. You'll see them ranking. And this is what the first page looks like. So when you come to mine, you're gonna see the exact same thing. Look, 
I got listicles. I put a number right there. 16 alternatives to Spectrum Internet. Here, choose wisely. Click to call our top alternative. That's a paper call. 16 best alternatives. Then we got the FAQ section. Just like we come over here. Oh, snap. Do you see they got a little one right there? Do you, do you see they got a little one right there? David practice what he preached. Barry White of SEO. You understand what I'm saying? So then we got a little bit of wordage. Hopefully we can get the feature snippet with this little piece right there. Then we got the Google My Business listing area right here. <laughs> I don't play around, man. I don't play around. This is all GPT. And then we got this right here. At first, I was having issues. At first, we were having issues because the code in GPT, man, is stubborn and is disobedient sometimes. So you need to make sure, like, <laughs> you need to tell GPT what to do. Like, you got to, like, do. you forgot to give me the HTML code. So I asked for the HTML code because at first it just made the the, uh, the table inside there. I'm like, dude, I can't paste that. You know, and then it gave me the HTML code. Okay. So now look at it right here. Oh, my God. This is all GPT. I don't know how to do none of this. I don't know how to do. I'm not a coder, man. Look, and then I got four videos in there. So it's multimedia. We got the imagery. They can click on these and call. We got we got the dang on FAQ section. You want to be as helpful as possible. Answer that question that they typed into the Google search box. And you do as much as you can on page to answer that. And it gets to the point where if you do a lot of interlinking, you don't even need too many backlinks. OK. All right. So check this out. We got that. Then we start breaking it down one by one. I told GPT all up in here, up in here, up in here. I told GPT. I said, oh, don't forget. I got videos. I told that mother to go and give me some dang on videos, too. My bad. I clicked on that mug. I wasn't trying to click on it. But I told GPT. Uh, where are we at? To give me the, the dang on link to the website. Look, it links to the website and it's branded and it links to a video. It found all of this on its own. And I said to give me an infographic, <laughs> give me an infographic and an FAQ section for how each one of the internet companies work. It did that for all 16 of these. So I got 16 FAQ sections, <laughs> 16 infographics, well, probably more than that, infographics. It did all of this, super multimedia. Some, like I said, some of the dang on uh, FAQs is messed up, so we probably have to go back in there and fix that. But it did good for a dang on, like, chat GPT. Look at that. Like, it can't drop down at all, right? Drop down and get the eagle on it all, man. OK, so but as you can see, man, this is pretty much a damn near perfect article all written by ChatGPT. This is how you do it. This is how you <laughs> sex ed class pause. <laughs> but this is how you do it. This is how you create an article with ChatGPT. It did all of this. Remember, I don't know how to code. You understand? Now, it's not perfect because, like I said, I'm clicking on this right now and it's not even like it's not dropping down or nothing. So some of these have to be fixed or whatever. But then you got some like it'll drop down, but you can barely see it. <laughs> so they still got some work to do on that code, but it's better than what I could have did. Right. Then it got it got all of this. Look how long the page is. Man. Look, look, it give you all of the, the, these some beautiful colors, too. Right. That's crazy, man. This is Chad GPT. And another table, then at the bottom, just like on Google, I got a lad. The last part is another FAQ. People also ask. And guess what I did? I linked to the other page that this is asking about. Oh my God, why is Spectrum so expensive? So for every question in the FAQ, I created a separate page and had GPT write a page for that answer. I mean, for that question. What's the difference between Spectrum and Infinity? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you can do all of this to the max when you got an assistant like GPT that you ain't even got to pay.
But if you do get a GP, uh, if you do get an assistant, you train him on this and they can really churn it like butter. You understand what I'm talking about? So what y'all thinking so far, man? What y'all what y'all thinking so far, man? Like, do y'all think y'all could dominate with the stuff I'm teaching y'all? Hmm. Hmm. I want y'all. All right. So this is what y'all want. I want y'all to do. All right. I want because I want to be on time tomorrow, but and I will be on time tomorrow if I know y'all gonna show up. DZ said, "Freaking awesome! All praises to the Most High." See, I'm transparent. I'll show y'all the stuff I'm working on, man. You understand? Like, I ain't, I ain't scared, man. Even if y'all try to go after the cube, I ain't scared. I know what I'm doing, man. All right? <laughs> okay. So, if, you know what I'm saying? If, if I know y'all going to show up tomorrow for so, so, I'm going to do my damnness to be on time. So, set y'all alarms for 5. I'm going to set my alarms for 5. This is 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Set your alarm for 5. And I want y'all to uh, um, email me. Let me put my email in the chat. Email me the names of y'all businesses and the niche, the names and the niche. Email me right now, the names and the niche, so I can do research to help y'all ahead of time. I want to be able to get on here tomorrow and go straight into helping y'all. Today, I had to use this local business as an example because y'all didn't get my other message that I sent out. OK, so I want to be able to actually have this applicable to you guys specifically. So email me right now at that Gmail that I put in the in the chat right now and tell me your name. Tell me your business website and tell me your niche. Do that right now. It is eight people on here. I expect to get at least eight freaking emails and we'll do the exact same thing. Only it will be tailored to your business and you'll be able to take this. And I'm not charging all the damn thing. You understand? I'm not charging y'all for this. Like, dude, let me show you what we charge if we do this for people. Because I, I don't want y'all to think they they were just, just on some games. Y'all's yeah, real is real. You understand? Y'all's yeah, real is real. So this is my agency. <clears throat> the Profit Positioning Agency, right? I'm excited, man, because I, I saw Dave online and I saw Dave uh, online a video. <laughs> That's the star of the show right there. Cedric in the, in the, in the chat. That's him right there, y'all. <laughs> One of the testimonials. Um, DZ said, I don't have a business, but want to start one or several using your SEO methods. Man, hey, hey, tag along, man. Stay tuned, dude. Like, you ain't seen nothing yet. But -ba -ba baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Okay. <clears throat> so, about some copy. All right. So, we say, listen. If you hesitate to act, your competitors will 1,000x their highest month of profits by accepting the sales that you miss out on today. So we put a little bit of scarcity in there. Okay. And we got the market monopoly nobody else has. So <laughs> Oliver says, sold me out. <laughs> what you mean, man? Uh, what happened to showing me my niche bit? Yo, I got you, man. Just show up on her at five tomorrow, man. Like, email me right now. Listen, I'm tired, y'all, man. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I told y'all, like, that traveling was crazy for me. So we got this offer right here. <clears throat> Partner instead of pain. I told y'all, man. Like, this would be me pretty much owning a business. So if you approach me with some cheap stuff because you don't want to pay up front, Hey, I guarantee you, I'm, I'm going to be a partner of that mug because I'm going to bring so much sales that you're going to become dependent on me. So if you don't want to be a partner of mine, I strongly suggest you rather just pay up front rather than trying to get me to do stuff for free. I'm not a slave. All right. So <laughs> got a lot of people are trying, ooh, zero cost. Oh, my God. All right. OK, choose that one. You're going to be using my payment processors. I'm going to be the owner of the landing pages. So I'm going to control all of that. I'm going to get AdSense when people visit the sites. I'm going to have access to the email list so that I can retarget them and sell them other products. I'm doing all of that stuff if you ain't paying me up front. And I'm going to drop service you. So be careful when you go after zero cost stuff. Don't be freebie seekers. All right. So anyway, we got the audio book slash ebook only versus best. And if you are in my asset 
Empire Group. You, I mean, uh, of course, you already heard that book, and that mug is awesome, right? That's why I charge one ninety seven for it. Then this is the same value as the fifteen k service. This is the five k affiliate army course teaches you how to build an affiliate army. Okay, what is an affiliate army? I'll show you. That is the 15K option right here. We build an affiliate army. And, and I'm just showing you guys what I charge. I'm not trying to sell anything to you guys. So don't, this is not the portion of the webinar where I say I'm not selling anything. I'm on here to help you guys for free. If you happen to buy something, that's, that's you. I didn't, I'm, I'm not pitching, pitching anything. I hope, I will hope that you guys will bump up your prices and start selling some craziness as well that can help people and change your life at the same time. Why is this 15K? Well, because nobody else offers this. Nobody else does this. We build your affiliate army. Never pay for ads or marketing again. We build your own army of 250 trained affiliates that use their own money, network skills, and time to grow your sales. Boom. Leverage budgets of hundreds. So like nobody is offering these local businesses this. I don't see why an agency wouldn't. This is like literally all profits in your pockets for you. If you own an agency, I'm I'm like, I'm freaking inviting you to add this, add this service. Like, why wouldn't you want your clients to have the best results? What if your skills suck? A lot of you guys are newbies watching these SMMA videos and going to get clients that don't know how to get them results. What if you could build an army of affiliates that know how to run ads, that know how to do SEO. And they, you have teams of people working on that client using their own freaking money. That way, when that client pays you monthly, you don't have to take none of the money out of that to get the results. It's all profit. Oh my God. Did I just give you all that? Mm, generous. Okay. So then I can't give you all this one, but we build a market monopoly, 47K right here. And this one is where you can fly us out to build a market monopoly. I don't really be wanting people to get this one, though, because I don't want to come to America anymore. I don't want to go to USA no more, more, more. Where they killing little boys, shoot them on the floor, floor, floor. All right, anyway, uh, Oliver say, I already emailed you. Get some rest. Yes, Lord, I will get some rest. Cedric said, email sent. Yes, Lord. Uh, live decoder say I have a methadone clinic in Chicago and an IV hydration company. Wow, very specific. Okay, email me as well. I got to do some research on that one. I ain't never heard of the IV rehydration thingy, but we'll figure it out too. All right. So then I offer them the chance to uh, apply to have this funded for you. Because I understand this is pretty high ticket, but that don't, that don't mean I'm going to lower my prices just because people broke. You understand? <laughs> you can't do that. I've been caught in that race. And I noticed that even when I lower my prices to give the cheap option to help people, they still don't appreciate you. They still complain. They still talk stuff and they'll still write bad reviews about you. So get what you can get and help them how you can help them. OK, so then we got the infographic on here with the market monopoly and I'm teaching y'all a lot of my stuff. Right. But I can't give you all the market monopoly, though. All right. But anyway, so I appreciate you guys for mobbing with me today. You understand? I appreciate y'all for, you know, understand, uh, you know, hanging out and uh, getting some edification. You understand? And don't forget. Yes. This week, the Sabbath class is back on. The Sabbath class is back on. It will be at 11 a.m. Central. So you can set a reminder right now as we speak. I, I strongly suggest that at least you 12 that are on here right now be there on Saturday. We will be going over. We will be going over your gift versus your family. Which comes first? Your gift versus your family. Remember, your gift isn't for you. Your gift was to be given to the people. All right, you understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking about your passion, that's yours. Your gift, you give a gift away. So what comes first, your family or your gift? It is important for you to know because if you don't know this, you will let your wife stop you from becoming great. Oh, 
You working too much. Don't you think you should spend some time with me? Oh, we've we've fallen out of love. You know what I'm saying? And all of that extra bull crap, right? If she understands and appreciates your gifts, she won't say stuff like that. A good representation of that would be somebody like Grant Cardone. His wife is awesome. I don't like her at all, but like their her relationship to him, his work is is how it's supposed to be. You shouldn't have to choose your gift versus your family, but unfortunately, a lot of us do. And we'll get in this position where we feel guilty if we don't spend enough time with our children or our kids. But then when our kids grow up to resent us because we couldn't do anything to help them financially, now we're starting to see what's important. Like, damn, should I have spent more time with them or spent more time figuring out how to build them? Okay, so that's going to be the Sabbath class. Your gift versus your family. I strongly suggest you guys be there. But set your alarm for tomorrow, mañana, mañana at five o'clock. Introvert wealth, what's going on? What's going on? All right, I'm happy to see all of y'all. I wasn't even sure if y'all was going to show up because some people are, uh, are, uh, are holding some grudges against me because I, I had a lot going on the past couple of weeks. Man, I'm human too. Y'all better realize that. Y'all better realize that or y'all ain't going to like me. I'm not one of them people that's going to act like I have no flaws. No, it's 5 p.m. Central Time. 5 p.m. Central Time. So that would be 6 p.m. East Coast Time. Okay? All right. Got Good, 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 good. All right. Got y'all emails and everything like that. I appreciate you. So I'll be more prepared tomorrow. Uh, to help y'all out on the live stream. Make sure you guys are ready to take notes and then take action because there is no cash in without action. Remember that. There is no cash in without action. Uh, he's Introvert World said, I was on the road going to watch the replay and be there tomorrow. Thanks. Yes, Lord. Okay. All right.